Here's this week's weight training workout, 30 minute full body with dumbbells. You'll start with a warm up, move through four supersets. Each exercise is completed to 12 reps and a timer will show your rest. Repeat this workout three times during the week, leaving a recovery day between sessions. Next Monday, find your new workout under this week's workout at the top of my channel homepage. An increase in strength and muscle doesn't depend on the length of your workout. What matters is a total exercise volume for the week. That's why it's important that you complete three 30 minute full body lift with C workouts each week for the very best results. Superset save time and will keep the workout length short, but it doesn't mean this will be easy. This dumbbell workout is for those with experience lifting weights. Your likes and comments are helping to grow the Lift With C community. Thank you so much for your support. Now go tap that thumbs up and grab your dumbbells. You're getting started with a warm up right now. Bring your hands behind ears, hinge forward to flat back, squat down, come up, stand up and repeat. Two forward shoulder roll to arm roll. And reverse the direction. Move into a wide stance. Bring one hand to the opposite foot and alternate sides. to standing. Bring hands to feet, rainbow the arms as you come up. Finish the warm up, squat down, come up to overhead side reach, and alternate sides.
Set number one starts with a hack squat. Hip width stance, toes are pointing straight. This will help to keep the exercise in the quad muscles on the front of the legs. You can either hold your dumbbells down by the side or up on your shoulders because you want to keep the torso upright as you go down, not leaning forward. The torso needs to stay facing forward. Then we'll move into a neutral grip shoulder press. Palms are at 45 degree angles to the body. Press up, bringing the dumbbells close together at the top without touching. As I said, each exercise is to 12 reps. We're getting set up. And starting right now. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep.
Tadasana. Setting up. And starting right now. set up. And starting right now. Start on this side. Setting up. Again, starting right now. possible reasons. Either you're letting the dumbbell float too far out, you're supposed to paint the front of the leg with the dumbbell, keep it nice and close, or you could need to develop more core strength and endurance. So there is a core and abs playlist if you'd like to do some dedicated core and ab work. Getting set up. And starting 
right now. Strap. You notice with the RDLs, I started on my non dominant side for the second set, just trying to switch things up. The other thing is, only go as low as your hamstring flexibility will allow. At the very least, you want to be stopping just under the knee. But if you have greater hamstring flexibility, go for the full range of motion. Getting set up. And starting right now. starts with a supinated grip row. Nice stable stance, engage the core to support the spine, well bent over, palms are facing forward. Roll the dumbbells up into the rib cage, letting the elbows go behind the back at the top. Then we'll move into a cross body raise. This is working primarily the chest with a little bit of the front of the shoulder. 
raise the arm across the front of the body, squeezing the chest muscles. We will alternate sides. And I will try not to bang the microphone on every rep. Maybe that will help. turn into a sweaty mess, hence why I've been wearing my hat for most of the workouts very early recently. Getting set up. Strap on each side and set your weights down. So that is very similar to if you're in the gym and using cables. That same low cable pulling action. It's all of the chest that's moving the arm. Goodness, that was fast. Getting set up. And starting right now.
last rep. Setting up. And starting right now.
getting set up. And starting right now. Start on this side, setting up on the other side, and starting right now. I pop up in between sets because I have a timer sitting down on the floor just off of the screen so you can't see it, but so that I can try and keep pace. Getting set up. And starting. Right now. very first form of a warm up exercise to see if by moving you've increased your mobility. I'm going to guess you have. So that was a shoulder width stance, hands behind ears, hinge forward to flat back, squeeze. 
squat down, come up, stand up. Were you able to squat deeper? I've got two more, let's try it out one more time. Hinge forward to flat back, squat down, not quick, nice and slow, sit there for a second. Shoot the hips back up and come up to standing. You're doing mobility work. Here we go, one more time. Hinge forward to flat back, squat down, sit deep and low. Bring the hips back up and stand back. There you go. Interlace the fingers, palms up to the sky, stretch up tall. Lean to one side. and lean to the other side. Remember, for the very best results, you're doing three 30-minute full body workouts each week. Back to the middle, other side. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Hope you feel amazing. To the middle and last side. I can't wait to lift with you soon.